Hello everyone, what's up? It's Tree, of course, and today I'm showing you guys how to install MCA, or Minecraft Comes Alive. I've heard a lot about this mod, so I figured I'd go and show you guys a tutorial video on how to install it. Uh, with that said, we're going to go and get started, but before we do that, make sure you leave comments of any other tutorial videos you want me to do. I will be glad to do them, and I'll let you know if I'm going to do them. Uh, with that said, we're, we're going to go and get started. So, open up the first link in the description, and it will take you here. It's actually the only link in the description. Uh, this is the Minecraft Comes Alive uh, main forum page, uh, kind of. So, just go and scroll down. We're going to go find the download section. You can go and click this little downloads tab right here if you want to. And it'll take you to this. Um, as long as Minecraft is version 1.4.6 or whatever version of Minecraft, the mod tutorial should work. As long as the mod continues to use uh, Minecraft Forge, the video will always work no matter what version of Minecraft you have. So, with that said, it doesn't really matter. But keep in mind, I am making the tutorial video. Uh, for Minecraft 1.4.6, but it should still work for no matter what version you have. Um, so, let's go ahead and get started. So, uh, obviously this is required to play. We're just going to go ahead and click the here for Minecraft 1.4.6, or whatever version of Minecraft you have. So I'm just going to right-click it and open it in a new tab. And then you'll be brought to an add file link. Unfortunately, you're going to have to wait 5 seconds, so just wait. And go ahead and skip add. And then it'll go ahead and download uh, Minecraft Forge um, into your downloads folder or wherever it saves it to. So I would recommend saving it to your desktop. It's going to make the tutorial far easier for you and me. And it'll be faster, too. So go ahead and uh, close this link now. We don't need it anymore. The next thing we have to do is we need to open, uh, actually go download the mod itself, which is right here. It says latest version, or of course you can download an older version of Minecraft because it should still work for an older version as well. Um, so, but we're going to go and do the newest version of Minecraft, which in my case is 1.4.6. So, go ahead and hit that link. It will probably redirect you to AdFly. Of course, it always does. So, we will have to sacrifice five more seconds of our life. I'm terribly sorry, but we can do it. Skip Ed. And it will automatically download it. Actually, no, it won't. It'll take you here. I lied. Um, don't let the site deceive you. It kind of tricked me at first as well. Um, make sure you don't hit any of this crap, don't even bother scrolling down, just hit the download now button. Surprisingly enough, this actually does download it, it doesn't look like it would. But when you click download now, it starts to download it and opens up some sort of spam box, so just close that. Again, this will save to wherever it automatically saves to, in my case it saves to my, uh, my downloads folder, which I'm going to go ahead and close this stuff now. I'm actually going to open up the folder that my downloads folder is, close this link, and so now, you should have two things downloaded. MCA, whatever version it is, and Minecraft Forge, whatever version it is. Drag these two files to your desktop, or save them to your desktop, whichever one, um, and close that. We don't need anything else. You should have MCA and Minecraft Forge now. So the first thing we need to do is go down here in the bottom left and type in percent app data percent. Hit enter, and that will bring you to your roaming folder. Inside here, you'll see a file or a folder called .minecraft. Open up .minecraft. And inside here, you're going to see all sorts of files. We're going to go and create two new folders. So right-click and create new folder. We're going to name this one mods, no capital letters, nothing, just mods. Hit enter. We're going to go and create another new folder, and we're going to call this one config, just like that. Hit enter, and that's all you have to do for this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and install MCA. So open up MCA, and then you're going to see two uh, folders in here. Place contents and config folder. So open this up, and we're gonna bring MCA into config. So drag and drop that into the config folder. If I open it up, you'll see it's in there. So go back. Now we just need to do the next part, which we're gonna go back, and we need to drag the place contents in mods folder. Uh, so open that up and drag this little zip file into the mods folder. Just like that. If I open the mods folder up, bam, there it is. So, we just installed MCA, now we need to install Minecraft Forge so we can actually load the mod. So go ahead and open up the bin folder. Inside here you're going to see a uh, file called Minecraft Executable Jar File or Minecraft.jar. Just uh, select that, right click, open with WinRAR Archiver, or of course you can use 7-zip, I prefer WinRAR. Uh, so just go ahead and uh, select MetaInf right here, right click, and delete files. Hit yes. Now, if you fail to forget to delete it, you're more than likely going to get a black screen or you're going to get stuck at the end of a loading screen. So keep that in mind. Make sure you delete that. Open up Minecraft Forge, whatever version you have, off of your desktop or wherever you saved it to. And so now you're going to see a new meta end folder in here, so make sure you don't delete that when you put it into your Minecraft.jar. So right click, select all, drag and drop it into our Minecraft.jar. Hit OK. Go ahead and close the Minecraft.jar. 
go ahead and close Minecraft Forge, and of course go ahead and close the .minecraft. Now I am so positive that this mod is going to install correctly that this is actually my first time I have ever installed the mod. So, we'll go and see if I'm right. Let's see if we got it right. Um, please be right. That'd be great. It's loading everything. Cliffhanger. And boom, there we go. Of course, uh, as usual, everything always works when it comes down to my tutorial videos. So, we're going to go into single player, create a new world, and let's go and switch to creative. I have no idea what is in this mod. I'm just going to look for something that normally isn't in Minecraft. So, we're going to generate up a new world. Now, this was a kind of... Oh, okay. We're going to just create a female character, because that obviously isn't normally in Minecraft. My name. Awesome. Let's go and make a new name. Herp. Derp. Girl. Derp. That's my name. Next. Configuration options. Hide sleeping tag. Yes. Overwrite test certificates. Children grow automatically. Yes. Boom. What's my name? Oh, I can't talk. That's right. Let's go ahead and go to the creative menu. And let's go ahead and see if I can find something. Um... Something in Minecraft that normally isn't in Minecraft. What would that be? Oh, okay, here we go. Here's one. Engagement ring. I have a feeling this has to do with children. Fertility. Yeah, this definitely has to do with children. That's what kind of mod this is. A whistle, huh? What does that do? Pew, 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 pew. What does a baby do? Can I break wood with a baby? Oh, yeah, I can break wood with a baby. Oh. Alright, so, uh, yeah, obviously this mod is working. Can I, like, wear this or something? Wear it on my head or my feet? Yeah, I don't know. I don't really know what to do with this mod, so I, this is the only thing I can think to show is that, um, I guess the fertility potion? I could throw that at the ground? Where's that at? Let's see, um, spawn, spawn male villager, I guess? Boom. Oh, okay, there we go. Derp, derp, girl, derp. Ah, thank you, you too. Die! Oh, it's cool, it shows the health bar above them as well. Okay, so obviously the mod is installed correctly, um, as usual. Thank you guys for watching. Please rate and subscribe, and if you have any problems at all, please leave a comment, and I'll try to let, uh, get, a, uh, get a comment back to you. Um, if I don't, then I'm sorry. That means the video is probably a little older, so I don't really reply as much to older videos. But you can try to get my attention on a newer video, of course. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. As usual, please rate and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later. See ya.